This is Lawrence from Fit and 50, and today we are going to do a full body dumbbell workout. It's not a Tabata workout. This is a weight training session, but we are going to take a look at what happens with my heart during this session. I have set up my heart rate monitor, as you can see, so we'll be able to track my heart rate throughout the entire workout. Let's see what kind of cardiovascular workout I get during my weight training session. So this is a fairly fast paced workout. Every two minutes I do a set. It's a way I really like to train. It's not the only way I train, but it is definitely one of my favorites. So let's get at it. Let's see what happens with my heart while I'm weight training. So I'm not gonna uh, keep blasting through at this uh, fast pace here. It's obvious that I've sped up the tape here, but this is my uh, warm up that I'm doing here. I just wanted to show it briefly, kind of give you an idea of some of the stuff that I uh, do for my warm up. And also my warm up actually played a part in what my heart rate turned out to be. Uh, for this workout because uh, after I had gotten started I had got delayed but I left the timer running and then I started rushing through my warm-up to get it done and catch up to the time so I ended up with a higher heart rate than I normally would have for a warm-up. For a guy my age and I'm 52 about 100 beats per minute would be a good uh, pace to have your heart up to for a warm-up pace and so that would really be my target here. I'm only at 124 beats, so definitely a little faster heart rate than I should have for a warm up. So the goal here is to do 15 reps on every single exercise, every single set. So I started out with these front squats. I really like the front squats. You see there, 160 beats a minute. So I've really jacked up my heart rate to start and 137 at the cool down before the next set. So I'll be showing those throughout the entire workout. Um, actually 160 beats quite high 168 would be my maximum heart rate so let's see how close I get to that over the course of this workout so we're at 165 164 there then we've cooled down that's hard to read but that says 141 all right so this is my last set of squats I really want to start doing more squats in my workouts, uh, especially now that I'm sprinting. I always use the excuse that I was a runner, kind of stay away from the squats. But now that I'm sprinting, I need a lot more uh, strength and explosiveness too out of the uh, starting blocks. So the best way to do that, lots of squats, lots of plyometrics. All right, we're at 166, two beats away from my maximum heart rate. And then we've cooled down to 146. All right, I'm using really bad form here and I do apologize guys, my back's way too rounded. But you'll see in these next sets here, I do a couple different variations of supported row. Here I'm using the uh, back of my bench to support my uh, body as I do the rows. Form here is pretty good. It just helps take the pressure off your low back for anybody who has any back problems and wants to do rows at home. And then we're at 158. So the uh, heart rate is definitely slower than it was for the squats. And then 143. This is the way I typically do my rows. Now I call these an elbow in row. So I am uh, I have my elbow close to my body as I row up. I'm gonna do another variation of these rows later on in my workout and you'll see how they're different. They target the back an entirely different way. This way it really hits your lower back and your mid back more. Uh, definitely works the lats a bit more. A 144. Be blanks. Check them out on YouTube. Supply the music one more time for another one of my videos. 
Uh, he's only got a couple songs on YouTube right now, but he's got a whole bunch he's working on and they sound fantastic. I can't wait to have him uh, release them on YouTube so you guys can hear them all. So we're at 156 for heart rate. And 143 for rest. So I do have a companion workout that goes with this that I'll probably release here in the next probably three weeks looking at my schedule. So basically I would do this workout one day and then I would do this uh, next workout. I would do it on the uh, alternate day. So I'd alternate between the two. They just hit uh, the muscles a little different, some different exercises just to give you a bit more complete workout. Start to look tired. And we recovered to 140, 141 beats. So these are the elbow out rows. Initially they might look the same, but notice how my elbow is away from the body. Uh, these work your uh, back quite a bit differently. They actually work your upper back more. And uh, so they work your upper back, kind of your mid traps, as well as your rear delts. So that got me up to 157 beats a minute. So none of these exercises have worked me as hard as the squats did. And we're covered down to 141. So I really like this particular elbow out row for helping to work on that upper body width. So uh, when you uh, want that kind of Superman look, you want that really wide upper body, this is definitely an exercise you'll want to include into your program. So 155. Recovered to 139. So if I hit 134 beats or under 134 beats a minute, I should be out of an anaerobic training state. And keep plugging away. Not super shredded, but you can still kind of see the muscles working. It's funny. Even though my heart rate's not as high now as it was earlier, I feel my heart pounding way more. 135, so we're almost getting under that anaerobic state. Here we are doing incline. And I was gonna mention too, these can be rotated around. Like if you want to do incline bench before you did flat bench, uh, that'd be perfectly acceptable. Uh, when people do that, I tend to like to do the bigger muscle groups first, so I like to do flat bench first. But uh, if you do incline first, it's a bit of a pre-exhaust and some people uh, want to emphasize their weak point and a lot of people have a weaker upper chest. And again, this is one of those exercises that helps give you a really wide upper body. So if you're trying to get that Superman look, it's a pretty important exercise. You can easily switch around the uh, elbow out rows and the uh, elbow in rows as I like to call them as well. Uh, the elbow out there. Again, if you're trying to emphasize that width over overall strength, it makes sense. I earned this seat. So we got there, 135 for recovery. Keep plugging away. Slowing down here on my reps, you know I'm getting tired. All right, so that's my full body dumbbell workout. Doing one set every two minutes. I'll have to review that, but it looked like I was actually in an anaerobic cardiovascular state for the entire workout. That really makes this a hardcore workout. Anyway, this is Lawrence from Fit and 50. Sign out, keep working out, keep having fun, and we will talk to you again in that next video.